Story Builder is a suite of post-review tools designed to help you organize key documents and prepare for upcoming important events such as depositions. The dashboard is an overview of the documents, objects, and activity in your story. The events and tasks lists can help you prepare for upcoming depositions as well as collaborate with other users on tasks. To begin setting up your story, head to the timeline and click on Settings. Select Document Names and Dates. When documents are added, they will automatically inherit names and dates based on the priority of these metadata fields. This is the default priority list. To change the order, drag and drop the field. Remove a field by clicking the red X. Or add fields by selecting them in the drop down menu below. After you've configured your settings, you can add documents to your story. To upload documents to your story, click the Data Transfer button and select Uploads. Documents must be packaged into a single unpacked or unzipped folder to upload seamlessly. Select Document Sets with a Load File if you have a set of PDFs named after their begin dates accompanied by a load file. If your documents do not have a load file, select PDFs without a load file. Click Start Upload then drag and drop the set of documents into the page to begin the process. Give your upload a name. By default, it will inherit the name of the folder. Then click Create Upload. If your PDFs are named after their begin Bates number, they will be uploaded with that name. Any other naming convention will receive an EVER prefix on its Bates number. Confirm the prefix is correct and click Next. Verify that everything is as expected and begin your upload. It is important to note that PDFs without a load file will not have any metadata associated with them. When you are ready to start collaborating, you can add additional users to your story by clicking the Add Users button. Enter the email address for each user, one per line. You can add a maximum of 200 users. Only users with admin permissions can add additional users to the story. You're ready to start working with your documents. The timeline allows you to work with all of the documents and testimony objects in your story. You can filter by date, story items, events, and terms. You can also apply labels to documents, including events and people. You can edit the identifying information for a document, including the date. You can also fill in description and relevance fields. To view a document, select the eye icon. You can use the same button throughout StoryBuilder to view documents. Labels can be used to organize and filter your documents. To filter documents by their label, select the labels on the left. You can create as many categories and labels as you need. Event labels allow you to associate a period of time with an event, which will also appear in your timeline. People labels allow you to build profiles that can contain a person's contact information, work history, and work relationships. To help organize your timeline, you can add labels, events, and people to documents. In the same way, you can also associate documents with drafts and deposition objects. Adding a deposition or a draft label to a document in the timeline will add that document into the corresponding deposition or draft. To update multiple documents at a time, make sure that the blue checkboxes next to the documents are selected. You can then use the batch button to apply labels and add documents into other story builder objects. You can create a new draft from the Drafts tab. To learn more about working with drafts and depositions, see our video titled Introduction to Drafts and Depositions.